From the Washington Times, I'm Tim Constantine. The world's top chess federation has ruled that transgender women cannot compete in its official events for females until an assessment of gender change is made by its officials. The decision by the Switzerland-based federation has drawn criticism from advocacy groups and supporters of transgender rights. The World Organization said it and its member federations increasingly have received recognition requests from players who identify as transgender and that the participation of transgender women would depend on an analysis of individual cases that could take up to two years. Ironic that sports requiring physical strength, speed, and agility let men who identify as women compete, but chess, a competition of the mind, will not. Driverless cars, they do exist. A cruise driverless robo-taxi drove through a green light and collided with an on-duty fire truck in San Francisco recently. The fire truck rammed into the taxi in the crash, causing the sole passenger in the driverless cab to bump her head. She was treated at the scene and taken to a hospital for what the taxi company called non-severe injuries. The crash occurred just a week after the California Public Utilities Commission approved Waymo and Cruise to operate a 24-hour driverless taxis in the city. The San Francisco city attorney issued a statement saying, we have seen that this technology is not yet ready and poor AV performance has interfered with the life-saving operations of first responders. Robotaxi service crews insisted the technology is safe. Would you feel safe getting in a car with no driver? For these stories and all the news, visit us at WashingtonTimes.com.